welcome in this session on science contribution of india and indians as a science teacher when you deal with the students in your class and you talk about various scientific discoveries inventions then many a times students ask you that what is the contribution of india in this discipline of science if you see the literature that is the ancient literature you can come across a lot of ideas proposed more earlier than the recent western thoughts but when we talk about science or contribution of indians in science there is a very important quote of dr c v raman where he is saying that there is only one solution for india's economic problems and that is science more science and still more science so you can see that emphasis on science is being given in indian system not only from the ancient time but also in the modern time let us talk about first science in ancient india there is a acharya called bhaskaracharya 2 his time is around 1114 to 1185 ad he talked about gravitational force if you read the commentary in the name of siddhant shiromani he has described there that objects fall on earth due to a force of attraction by the earth therefore the earth planets constellations moon and sun are held in orbit due to this attraction he is talking about gurutvakarshan or gravitation around 500 year before newton and in our ancient sanskrit literature you will find a lot of such shlokas where a lot of scientific discoveries have been mentioned you can find it in rigveda you can find it in yajur veda and bhaskaracharya was a very great mathematician too if you see his commentary you can find that he talked about the mean longitudes of the planet the true longitudes of the planet the three problems of diurnal rotation then lunar eclipse and solar eclipse then he also talked about latitudes of different planets then rising and setting of sun then the moon's crescent then conjunctions of the planet with each other then conjunctions of the planets with the fixed stars and the path of sun and moon bhaskaracharya was a great thinker of his time he was one of the greatest astronomer and physicist we can find and he was not only one one such name you must have heard maharishi bharadwaj he was around 4th century bc and in his book demonic shastra he discovered and wrote about the way in which airplanes or space ships appeared and disappeared and the way in which they traveled from one planet to another another very famous contributor in ancient indian science is acharya shashruta we all call him the father of surgery with lot of respect he wrote shashrut sahita he was in between 1200 to 600 bc exact year is not known and even some mythological texts claim that he had learned surgery from the dhanvantri the guru of chikitsa his book has detailed descriptions of toxicology pediatrics pharmacology ayurveda and other fields of medicine too along with acharya shushruta we also recall maharshi charak he was around 200 bce and in his book charak sahita he talks about indian ayurveda known as the first text of indian system of medicine and it is a compilation of eight books and of around 120 chapters who can forget the contribution of acharya kanath he was second century bce and known as father of atomic theory many hundred years before dalton 
he founded basic school of indian philosophy and he explained that every object of creation is made of anu which in turn connect with each other to form molecules you must have heard about patanjali he is the father figure for yoga which is again a natural science in india 400 ce if you see his book yoga sutra he introduced the science of yoga he prescribed the control of prana life breath as a means to control the body mind and soul and he proposed 84 yogic postures to enhance the efficiency of the respiratory system circulatory system nervous system digestive system the endocrine system and many other organs of the body you must have heard about aryabhatta aryabhatta was famous astronomer and mathematician in ancient time and he wrote aryabhattiyam in 499 ce and he was the first who proclaimed that the earth is round it rotates on its axis orbits the sun and is suspended in space what a great discovery was it and as a mathematician he also contributed in arithmetics algebra plane trigonometry spherical trigonometry continued fractions quadratic equations sums of power series and table of sign the tradition continues to modern india now let us talk about some modern indian scientists who have contributed a lot and place us in world map who was jagdish chandra bose sir j c bose was a physicist biologist and archaeologist and he pioneered the investigation of radio and microwave optics his famous paper was the electromagnetic radiation and polarization of electric rays he also invented the crescograph which can record even the millionth part of a millimeter of plant growth and movement he was the first to invent a wireless scorer radio signal detector and an instrument for indicating the refraction of electric waves prafulla chandra ray the greatest pharmacologist in india he was very famous academician and chemist and he founded the bengal chemical and pharmaceutical which was india's first pharmaceutical company satendra nath bose you must have heard about bosan he was a very famous mathematician and physicist he is best known for his work on quantum mechanics he provided the foundations for bose einstein statistics and the theory of bose einstein condensate he was contemporary to einstein and he worked with him bosan a class of elementary subatomic particle is named to commemorate his contribution to the science then meghnath saha meghnath saha was a very famous astrophysicist who developed saha ionization equation which is used to describe the chemical and physical conditions in stars he invented an instrument to measure the weight and pressure of solar rays c v raman who can forget him sir c v raman won the nobel prize in 1930 for his raman effect in its explanation he said that when a beam of monochromatic having single color light passes through a transparent substance it scatters he studied the broken light and he found two spherical lines of very low intensity or you can say strength parallel to the incident monochromatic light this showed that broken light was not monochromatic though the incident light was monochromatic har gobind khurana who was an indian american biochemist he won nobel prize in 1968 for demonstrating how the nucleotides in nucleic acids control the synthesis of proteins 
He was the first scientist who chemically synthesized oligonucleotide, the world's first synthetic gene. Homi Jahangir Bhava, known as father of Indian nuclear science. He was a theoretical physicist, best known as a chief architect of Indian Atomic Energy Program. He established India's first atomic research center, which is now called as Baba Atomic Research Center in Trombay. Then Bikram Sarabhai, the satellite man. Bikram Sarabhai was instrumental in launch of India's first satellite, Aryabhat. He studied cosmic rays under the guidance of great Dr. C.B. Raman. And he also pioneered the idea of giving education to the villages through satellite communication, which is now very common. Subramaniam Chandrasekhar, and again an Indian-American astrophysicist who won Nobel Prize in 1983 for his research on the evolutionary stage of massive stars. He showed that the mass of a white dwarf could not exceed 1.44 times that of the sun. This is known as the Chandrasekhar limit. Dr. Salim Ali, the bird man of India. Dr. Salim Ali was a naturalist who develops ornithology. He also referred as bird man of India. He created the Bharatpur bird century, which is known as Kevla Dev National Park. And he also prevented the destruction of Silent Valley National Park. He wrote the handbook of birds of India and Pakistan. A great mathematician, Srinivas Ramanujam. Srinivas Ramanujam is known as India's greatest mathematical genius who worked with great G.H. Hardy and he is known for his brilliant contributions to mathematical analysis, number theory, infinite series and continued fractions. Paleobotanist Birbal Sahani Birbal Sahani is known for his research on the fossils of Indian subcontinent. He was founder of the Paleobotanical Society which established the Institute of Paleobotany on 10th September 1946 which initially functions in the Botany Department of Lucknow University. Now it is known as Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleobotany. And who can forget? Dr. APJ Abul Kalam, known as the Missile Man of India. He developed the satellite launch vehicle SLV, which put the satellite Rohini into orbit. He has crucial role in development of India's missile and nuclear weapons programs. Prithvi, Trishul, Akas, Nag, Agni, he developed under his leadership and he was the 11th president of India. And he was a great thinker, a great scientist, a very polite human being and a very respected teacher. He used to say, in science, impossible does not exist. India need a new generation of creative scientists. So dear friends, it is our duty as science teacher that in our classroom, we should develop a sense of pride towards the contribution of Indians in the growth and development of science. And let us make our children a curious, a creative scientist. Thank you very much.